What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Jeff Holiday channel and today we're gonna have a lot of fun. We're gonna be making a ranking list like you've probably seen like uh, ranking which youtubers I could beat up or ranking which Pokemon are probably my real father that sort of thing But we're gonna do it for wingnuts, but also we're going to be revealing their power levels how they rank in five different categories that me and people over on my twitch stream have come up with now for the purposes of full disclosure, what you're watching right now is actually in the future, and this was also previously streamed on this channel. And if you'd like to go back and see the whole, like, behind the scenes making of, the link is in the description, it's otherwise unlisted. But let's start, let's have some fun. Behold! The tier list! All the way from S, A, B, C, D, E, and F. There will be a few Fs. And as you can see, we have quite a few contenders. Uh, to see where they're really going to match up against each other. Now, I didn't put every wingnut I ever talk about, and I definitely didn't even put every wingnut that we commonly will watch on the Roundup. But I wanted to get kind of a, a large cross-divide cross, cross divide of, of different types of wingnuts, and at least those that have their face to their words. So, we will start off with Dr. John Bergman. Babe, I didn't test positive yet, but I'm working for it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to start off with John Bergman. I'm not calling him doctor anymore. I'm done with that. So we can reveal our five stat ranking system. We got lethality. That should be pretty obvious, but it's about how many people either they are responsible for having killed or have the potential. True believer, whether they actually believe their crap or not. Wackadoo, how out there their ideas are. Incoherency for how impossible it is to decipher what they're saying and cult of personality, or how much they are able to attract a bunch of very gullible or desperate people. So, for lethality, if we're really looking at Dr. John Bergman, well, I don't think that necessarily he's the most lethal, but I'm not going to give him a zero. Far, far from it. The thing is, we've already seen that you can't actually get a bit of a body count with chiropractic, so I'm going to give him uh, two Jim Jones. Yeah, it's, that's about right. I feel pretty good about that one. All right, true believer. Does he believe everything he's saying? I, I actually think he does. The reason why is it takes a very specific kind of maniac to actually think that AIDS doesn't exist. So for that purposes, he definitely doesn't rank super, super high because I think he is pretty much a bullshit artist. Uh, he gets about three Jerry Falwells. That's, that's, that's probably pretty good, I think. Wackadoo. How wacky is he? Uh, definitely not the top ranking, uh, but he is up there. Again, AIDS denialism is definitely a thing. I'm going to give him two and a half David Ikes. Incoherency, he's actually very coherent. Uh, however, he, he's going to get at least one David Wilcock. At least one David Wilcock to, uh, hey, I mean, it's kind of hard to follow him sometimes. And as far as cult of personality, oh. He's getting four Alex Jones for Cult of Personality, largely because he did that thing with Extreme Games, and Extreme Games, uh, huge YouTubers. He did get a pretty big following from that. So I, I think that's pretty fair. All right, now, as far as where Bergman's going to be on this ranking list, uh, that one's a little bit tough. I'm, I'm going to put him at about a B. He is definitely not like the, the ultra threat S rank kind of wingnut. Not really, but he does pose kind of a substantial threat given the size of his fan base. So, uh, I think B's pretty good. Yeah. This is the night before an event like this is when the witches get together and perform their seances and their spirit cooking and all of their other evil, evil voodoo type activity, calling upon Satan. Ah, yes, third eagle of the apocalypse, William Tambley or whatever his name is. Uh, a long mainstay of wingnuts, not just for me, but for other commentators who have been following this kind of stuff for a long, long time. He's he's kind of a lunatic. He's kind of a nut bar. Uh, at least is how he ranks, though. I, I'm not. I don't think he's really going to match up very well. For instance, lethality. I don't even think he clocks at all, at all. I mean, I I really I can't imagine anybody killing in 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 Third Eagle of the Apocalypse his name, uh, nor him. Lifting a finger. True believer, though, this dude gets five Falwells. 100%. He, he, he has daily live streams where he sits there for an hour to three hours praying for Donald Trump. 
true believer. Wackadoo, I'm going to only give him about three David Ikes. The main reason why is he does get a little bit conspiratorial and kind of wacky, but it's all pretty mainstream stuff too. Incoherency, he's pretty coherent. I'll give him one Wilcock. And as far as cult of personality, he does have a little bit of a following. It's small, but it's dedicated. There's a good 250 people. I'll give him two Alex Joneses. That's pretty fair. Now, as far as where he matches up on the actual tier power ranking list, well, honestly, I, I, I gotta say, as much as, as I adore Third Eagle for what he is and how he's been a mainstay, he also doesn't really put out a whole lot of content anymore except for the uh, the, the occasional uh, little crappy video, but most of the time it's just these really bad streams. He's going in the E-list, honestly. I don't think he matches up. I really don't. Sorry about that, Third Eagle. Maybe, uh, maybe come back and try again next season. Hallelujah! Jesus! Ouch! Jesus! Ouch! Ouch! Next up, we've got Ed Citronelli from the Ed Citronelli Ministries. I love this guy. So, I, I mentioned it before, but... It's not just when I'm doing like the wingnut roundups that I will watch Ed. I'll just be bored and I'll put on one of his like live ministries that they recorded of him exercising people and I'll just watch it on my own because it's that entertaining. I love it. I think it's great. Um, okay, as far as lethality goes, this is kind of a tough one. I kind of think that there's potentially a possible, possible scenario where somebody believes Ed Cicinillian about demons and exorcism, and they might accidentally kill somebody. So, you get like half a Jim Jones? Half? True believer? Uh, I'm not really gonna rank him that high. I, I think, I think he's a scam artist. I 100% think he's more of a scam artist than a true believer that he's exercising people. Wackadoo? Oh, he's up there. He's, he's, he's getting three and a half Ikes. Incoherency, uh, ooh, that's a tough one. I mean, he is very eloquent, but he also kind of screams and rants a lot. Let's go two and a half Wilcoxes, 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 and he's gonna rank pretty high on cult of personality. He manages to do a traveling ministry show and get tons of people and pay for his want his ministries. Like, Ed Cicinelli reminds me of that, uh, that, that Steve Martin movie, Leap of Faith. That's, that's Ed. Now, as far as how Ed ranks in the wider scheme of wing nuttery, um, I think, I don't think he's on the level of Bergman necessarily, but he's not a low tier either. I like to say he's pretty high, but he doesn't really pose that much of a threat. So, I'm gonna say he's pretty middle of the road. And I think C is pretty much as middle of the road as you're really going to get. One of these items is highly addictive, causes extreme delusions, and is responsible for the deaths of over 82 million people. The other is DMT. Morg, aka the guy behind Hyperionism. Uh, Morg, I wanted to rate Morg because I had a lot to say about Morg. And then ultimately, I forgot all of everything that I was going to say, and I, I, I ended up with this... Uh, for a guy who's so outrageous and so dedicated to wanting to get people's attention, I think that Morg needs to start working harder because his incoherent ramblings about math in the universe and his his, his weirdo cult, I, nobody really cares anymore. Like, like you have to step it up a little bit. And for that purpose, I, I figure, like, we got to rank him. Lethality? No. Nobody, nobody's gonna kill themselves for Morg or kill somebody else. This isn't gonna be like some satanic panic or, or you know, in the 80s, the D&D killers or some crap like that. Not gonna happen. As far as true believer, I think maybe a two for Fallwell. I, I've known people who were circus performers and kind of had the head up their own ass like Morg does. Nah, he's, he's, he's a performer. Wackadoo, I'll give him a good three David Ikes. Because it's pretty wacky. It would be higher, except it's boring. Incoherency, he ranks pretty good. I'm going to say three and a half Wilcox eye. Wilcoxy? Wilcox eye? I'm still trying to figure that one out. And as far as a cult of personality, 
he gets about two and a half uh, Alex Joneses only because I've seen videos of him and his followers and they're pretty dedicated. There's just very few of them. Very, very few. Punching Morg into our power rankings. Morg, ugh, you know what? Only because of legacy is he not getting an F. He's getting an E right next to uh, Third Eagle. That's that's pretty much that's pretty much where he's at. He's about to scrape the absolute bottom of the barrel, the nastiest, the most terrible. But he's not quite there yet. I think he might be able to pull off something a little bit more entertaining in the future. But uh, he's gonna have to put in some effort. That's all I'm saying, man. This message is for Donald Trump. Your pride is sickening before me. So therefore, the United States Secret Service, see, they're secret because they serve me, the living God, not you. They don't protect you, they protect me. And therefore, they will bring me to you, and I will incarcerate you, and I will determine whether or not to chop your head off. The one, the only, the Lord Stephen Christ. Yes, oh, absolutely. The true reincarnation of Jesus Christ and the direct Son of God. Uh is in a mental institution currently. Uh, I don't think he's gotten out. Uh, there, there have been some people who were a bit, a bit concerned because they thought he was going to come out and uh, attempt to hurt people. Uh, he is in a mental institution for now threatening to kill the president of the United States. Uh, this is something that he did before when Obama was in office, so he's quite a charmer. Now, as far as lethality goes on him, I don't think necessarily that he's the most dangerous uh, because I think he's a blustering idiot. However, the people who are so fervently de dedicated to him that they got that that tattooed massively on their chest, I think they could kill a lot of people. I'm I'm going to give him two and a half Jim Jones. Uh not just because I think like they're going to have a huge body count, but if they did, this would be like some Manson family shit, like real creepy. True believer, this dude literally thinks he is the son of God, the reincarnation of Jesus Christ. He's he's a full blown five alarm fall well. That's just that's that's listen. Wackadoo, man. Wackadoo, he's going up in the power rankings. He's not the craziest, but he's about four Ikes worthy. Incoherency, he's also gonna he's gonna he's he's gonna rate pretty high in the Wilcox eye. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say a full four Wilcox. Yeah. These are this is a pretty powerful, powerful wing nut here. And cult of personality is going to be a one. Because he has two followers. That's it. So where does the Lord Stephen Christ actually rank in the tier level of wingnuts? Well, that one is a bit contentious. I would like to say that with his power rankings, he should be all the way at the top, an S tier. Ooh, but he's not. You see, the problem is is you can really only cover him for so long before it kind of gets a little bit played out. So instead, uh, maybe he would drop a few levels. But then also, he is currently in a mental institution. So he's kind of out of the picture. Uh, I'm going to actually put him next to Bergman. Not because necessarily he poses as much of a threat, but because of how colorful and unique he is, he's going to get B class. He'd be A if he wasn't in a mental institution. So... When the coffee enema is in the bum, uh, you will potentially be very uncomfortable, especially if you release the tube as, as quickly as uh, open in full. The water and coffee is going to start rushing in and it's going to be warm. And it's going to be very uncomfortable if it's your first time doing this. The detox dude, a.k.a. Uh, that guy I watched demonstrate how to give a coffee enema. Still can't get that one out of my mind. It just it's it's forever burned in there. It's like a it's like a scar. It's like a brain scar, you know? Huh. Um as far as the rankings go, I, I, I don't I don't think he's really got I don't think he's got the chops to really rank very high. Uh but let's let's walk through it. Lethality, zero. I, I only think that maybe this guy this guy maybe might kill himself by accident. So I guess like he can get a Get like a third of a, a a Jones out of that, a Jim Jones, I guess. True believer. Uh, I think this guy is completely full of shit, and he knows he is. He he's. In no way do I think anything that he's talking about he has any passion for or any real belief in, because every single week it's a totally different treatment. So true believer zero. 
Zero. Completely out. Wackadoo? Uh, this guy I'll give at least two David Ikes on this. He He's letting unproven, uncertified health professionals, alternative health professionals, stick needles into his spine. That's pretty wacky. That's pretty bizarre. Incoherency, he's a pretty terrible public speaker. Um, I'll go two and a half, Will Coxeye. Uh, and Cult of Personality, no, your your YouTube channel is shit, man. I, I'm sorry, your your power levels are, are drastically low. And look, I'm, I'm not even going to beat around the bush. Uh, he's F. He's F tier. You're trash, buddy. You're just trash. You're not even really that damn entertaining to watch unless I, I find little bits of, of you getting jabbed into your vertebrae with a long, long, stabby needle. Like, that's, that's pathetic. What you're doing is you're taking all of those antigens, you know, right, or it was it's antigens, I think, is the response of the antibodies that come out in your urine, and then as soon as you inject, inject that back into you, especially in your, it's in your fat tissue, it has to go into your fat tissue, you're, like in your butt, um, what happens is, is your body goes, oh, that's what we're dealing with. It's a, it tightens the feedback loop. All right, David Avocado Wolf. We're gonna we're gonna do this one pretty quick. Lethality zero. True believer. I actually I I do believe that uh, David Avocado is probably about a two and a half fall well worth of, of belief. He's no, you know what? More than I think about it, nah. Three fall wells. He's three fall wells for how much he believes the stupid stupid crap that he says. He also is just happens to be one of the most prolific uh, snake oil salesmen out there. But I, I do think he believes. Wackadoo? I'm going to give him a pretty high ranking. Probably about three David Ikes. Uh, especially the, the chocolate is an octave of the sun. I don't think necessarily that he's gotten to the point where he's willing to like do a handstand and get a bunch of sun on his butthole. Yeah, I don't think he's there yet. But uh, three is pretty fair. Incoherency? We'll get two David Wilcox. I, you know, not too bad. Cult of Personality? This dude ranks pretty high. I'm going to give him four... Uh, Alex Jones's his his presence on Facebook is massive, massive, and massively influential when he wants it to be. So for that reason, I I think that probably boosts him up higher than he would be otherwise. And that's the really weird part of how you have to rank the wingnuts because whereas David Avocado is, is really not anything to write home about, he possesses something that is of incredible value, and that's his social media presence. And for that reason. He's got to rank pretty high. However, he's not really that entertaining. For that reason, I'm giving him a C. I think he's probably right in the middle. He's really not that fun. He's not that entertaining. Not really. But he does have a massive amount of influence. I think that's probably the fairest way I could really think about that. You know, you know the, the baby body parts scandal of Planned Parenthood, they take the baby body parts. This is real. This is sick, but it's real. They grow the, the baby body part tissue in vats to create human tissue. They use baby parts because they grow more quickly. They infect them and let them fester with toxic diseases. Mike Adams. Mike Adams is an interesting one because I, I do believe that he's, he's perpetually on the verge of doing something really horrifically bad. Like, when I look at Mike Adams, I, I, I don't think that there's any hesitation whatsoever in what he says. And I think if given the, the right or the wrong kind of push, the dude could, like, legit hurt people. However, we're only talking about in theory. So because of that lethality in him, I'm going to give him only a one as kind of a placeholder. But potential, like, I, I, think, I think this dude could rank pretty high if he ever snapped, and I hope he never does. As far as true believer, yes, no, no all the way, all the way, five full-blown fall wells on this dude. He is a full believer. He, he seriously thinks that the Earth is being terraformed by aliens. He believes that. Wackadoo, his are not the craziest I've ever heard, but they're pretty close, pretty high on the rankings. Five Ikes, five Ikes. His incoherency, he's actually a pretty good speaker. He's only going to get about three David Wilcox Z, but he's getting four Alex Joneses in his cult of personality because Natural News is still massively popular of a website. He's also on InfoWars. And him and, and, and all of these people getting together to make this Brideon uh, uh, video, video service thing, like, I, I do think this dude 
is legitimately dangerous. Legit. Now, as far as where he ranks on the tier list, he's going to go A. Uh, I, I think he is a massive lol cow. Uh, unending amounts of fun can be had as, at his expense, and I look forward to it as much as I possibly can. Um, but he's not quite an S. If he ever fully snaps one day, he'll, he'll definitely be an S at that point. Monkeys don't live in the sea. Primates don't live in the sea. So there's no way Ariel could have been a white woman, okay? Because you got to explain to me how this white woman, okay, ended up with amphibious genetic uh, protein. I mean, excuse me, amino acids, which, which formed into uh, prote proteins, which created amphibious characteristics within her organism. And then you have to prove to me, how, that's just the lower half. Then you got to prove to me how the upper half, which is monkey down there, okay? 98% chimpanzee. This is science. Go look it up. Okay, young pharaoh, Mr. Peace Peace family himself. Lethality? Nah. Nah. Nah, I, 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 think, I think young pharaoh is completely harmless. Uh, true believer? I think it's about two fall wells. It's not because I don't think he believes what he's saying. I don't think he actually puts that much thought into it. Not really. Wackadoo, he ranks pretty high. I'm going to go about three Ikes on this one. About three. Uh, it's not the craziest things I've ever heard. Well, then again, he he did claim that black people are plants. All right, four Ikes. Yeah, that's, yeah. Incoherency? Uh, yeah, he's, he's, he's pretty up there as far as incoherency. Cult of personality, he's only getting about maybe two Alex Jones. I think that a lot of his popularity is due to his music and not really due to his like really super weird crazy beliefs. So we'll we'll rank him about there. Punching him, however, into the tier ranking, I, I don't really think he ranks that terribly high. And honestly, with the, when I look at like how much he produces versus how much I tend to get out of it, I want to give him a D, but I'm gonna go ahead and give him a C. He's about mid-grade. He's about mid-grade. He's gotten some real bangers out there, but I've got to hunt for him. And I, I don't like hunting, so, yeah. You know, you it's like with the Holo the Jewish Holocaust, we're like stuck in one moment of history. Like, we can't get out of it. Like, we're stuck in a time warp or something, right? We can't get past that. And um, a lot of you guys that are butthurt, I'm just going to tell you, you know, straight up, when, when other Jewish people aren't around, other races, other cultures, they get pissed that we, you know, that, that this is the one, this is the one era in history that, that constantly seems to give, be given more validity to than any other point in history. A lot of people are frustrated about that. I'm just being real with you, okay? All right, Verstein from Truth or Talk. Um, Verstein's doing everything she can these days to become more relevant than her otherwise uh, crappy and dying YouTube channel. Um, I even so far as going and doing public debates at big events, and I don't really see much of it working out necessarily, but, you know, she's a wingnut. I do feature her quite often because she tends to say some pretty awful, abhorrent shit. Uh, so let's, let's put her into the power rankings. Let's do it. As far as Jim Jones go, she is an anti-vaxxer. I'm going to give her two Jim Jones just because, well, we see what's happening in Samoa, and, uh... Well, pretty much it's the collective anti-vaxxers that are helping make that happen. True believer, I think that she believes to a certain extent, but really only about the anti-vax stuff. I get about two and a half fall wells. It's not that impressive. Wackadoo, uh, maybe one and a half David Ikes. That's about it. The reason why she gets so much attention is because she says things that are incendiarily bad. Like she has no empathy for people. She just says horribly mean mean stuff that's why incoherency well she can barely goddamn talk on her channel she gets about two wilcox eye and cult of personality uh you get zero christine you get zero because you're a crappy ass youtuber and you have no audience and that's very fair because you're terrible uh and in fact i award you zero points you are f tier and i think that you should stop My name is Amanda Mary. Let's see how I rank in the power levels. Well, uh, I, I gotta say, I'm pretty sure she's already killed quite a few people. Um, allegedly. I'm pretty sure, allegedly, that she allegedly uh, is responsible for, allegedly, a bunch of people dying. Um, I'm gonna say that not only, I'd say, I'd say a good three, 
But with the potentiality of four, as far as how lethal it could be, uh, not just because her ideas are potentially deadly. No, no, no. That's not why. It's because she takes it to places like third world countries where people have no access to being able to check and see if what she's saying is true or not. So they don't have any way to protect themselves. That's mostly why. Now, as far as true believer goes, I am not going to rank her that high. Not really. I'm going to go about one and a half fall wells because I also think that she is primarily focused on, on money. Um, I'd say that maybe back in the day when she was still involved with the Genesis 2 Bleach cult, she probably ranked a bit higher. Not really anymore. She's all about that cheddar, baby. She's all about that cheddar. As far as David Icke's on Wackadoo, I'm going to say about two. About two is pretty good. She doesn't say the craziest stuff in the world. Not by far. But the, it's pretty bad. Incoherency, eh, about a two. She's pretty well spoken. But her cult of personality... I'm going to rank her kind of oddly. She doesn't have the biggest audience in the world. Not really. If I did just her audience, I'd say maybe a two, maybe a two and a half Alex Jones. But the problem with it is how insidious she is and how she's actually managed to convince people. I'm going to give her three and a half Alex Joneses for that. It's, it's, it's pretty substantial. I think she does pose quite a threat because of that. All right, as far as how she ranks in the tier list, uh, this one was a bit hard for me to figure out for myself. I'm actually going to go ahead and I'm going to stick her up at A. Now, that might seem a little odd because I've only ever made two videos on her and I've never touched on her again. But the main reason why I'm putting her up so high is because, much like Mike Adams, I think she represents a very clear and understandable threat. I think that she is a legit dangerous human being. Dangerous. In all other ways, I don't think she's anywhere near as entertaining, nor as her ideas as fascinating to look at. Not at all. But she is that close to, or maybe in many times already, allegedly, it's only alleged so far, but allegedly has already gone far over into the S category. But we can't prove it yet. Can't prove it. All you do is get that urine, get your enema kit, fill it up with one quart of the urine, and then obviously, yeah, before you perform the enema, make sure that there's no air in the tube, like unclamp the clamp. Sun, fruit, Dan. Danny, 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 Danny. Well, <clears throat> Danny, and this is going to sound a little cold, but I do have to mention it. Danny is getting about half a Jim Jones um, for the tragedy that unfortunately happened between him and his girlfriend uh, about a year and a half ago. I mean, it did happen, buddy. As far as True Believer, um, he's getting like maybe half a fall well. Much like everything else, I don't think, that, like a lot of these people, I don't think Sunfruit Dan believes a damn word that comes out of his mouth. I really don't. I think it's it's much like the Detox dude. Whatever he thinks he can try and sell to get views on a video or maybe like some kind of sponsorship, he'll do. I mean, he just gave up being vegan because he believes that now the raw meat enthusiast crowd is like how he's going to get his internet fame back. He doesn't believe in anything. Wackadoo, uh, he's gullible. He'll get two and a half Ikes. Incoherency, I'll go, I'll go two Wilcox I just because of his and yeah, and yeah. And it really just, it, it's, it's like a dagger in your mind every time he says it. Cult of personality, zero. Absolutely zero. Nobody followed you after your other channel got knocked down. Nobody cares. I uh, No, I'm sorry, dude. Uh, nothing. And in fact, like, I, much, much like the other two, uh, so far on it, you are also getting an absolute 100% F, Danny. An F. Awful. You have failed in every way. Oh. Man. Dip a piece of liver in vinegar, and that's what this tastes like. All right, Frankie boy, Frank Tufano, a.k.a. Big Frankie with the caterpillar eyebrows, a.k.a. the man who likes to get lots of sun on his balls. On his balls. Um, he's getting about half a Jim Jones because uh, if he keeps trying to eat rotten animal brains, he's probably going to kill himself. 
Uh, true believer. Mm, uh, I think you got to go at least maybe two. Now let's go three. We'll go three fall wells. A guy who believes his crap enough that he's going to eat rotten lamb brains. Yeah. Uh, his beliefs, I'm going to go up to about a three and a half, David Icke. They're not the wackiest. They're not the weirdest, but it's pretty disturbing. Incoherency. It doesn't make much sense, but he speaks well. He's able to present himself quite well. Uh, and he's got a little bit of a following. We'll go about one and a half Jones on uh, on Mr. Frank Tifano. Frankie boy, though, when I really think about it, doesn't really produce enough of the laughs that I, I would really want to rank him higher. Uh, he does have some notable and interesting stuff uh, that I could say are attributed to him. He He's about a D. He's about a D. I could forget that he even exists and I'd be totally fine. I don't I don't think I would miss him at all. Um, but, you know, he's put out enough bangers. Yeah, he's notable. Let's say there's some evil doer here on Ground Zero Planet Earth and wiser minds above are sending in a lightning bolt to zap that puppy. And in the intervening dimensions, there's a sudden collapse and it pulls the lightning bolt off and zaps. Right. A nearby Buddhist monk who's meditating. Right. So Jamie and Lynn from the Angelic Initiative, um, they, they're they such a, a, a hard one to rank because they do a lot and they make a lot of content that, that is, is wildly entertaining, but it's all very, very similar. Very similar. Now, as far as lethality goes, like, come on, guys. Seriously, lethality, these two, no, they're, they're not hurting anybody. True believer. Uh, yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go at least four, four and a half fall wells on this one. Um, maybe I have a, I have a hint that in some ways, uh, they, they're very self-aware about how bizarre this is. Um, especially like the interactions they had with pay money wubby. So that makes me not want to put them all the way to a five. Wackadoo. Oh, we're, we're skyrocketing all, all the way up to five David Ikes. Uh, their beliefs are so absolutely weird and uh, completely incoherent. I mean, this is this is some truly bizarre, bizarre stuff. But as far as cult of personality goes, I don't really think that many people take them serious. I don't think so. So Jamie and Lynn, just for how charming and fun they are, I want to rank them pretty high, maybe into like the B tier or something like that. But at the same time, they're very repetitive. So I'd almost want to put them down to like a D. I, you know, I think instead, as much as I really don't want to have too many C's, I'm going to say they're probably C tier. Probably. If there was just a little bit of a difference in their content, I think that maybe they might rank a little bit better. But it is very repetitious. You know what I mean? How else do you explain them building CERN? The Large Hadron Collider, where the people that work there have numerous times, we're going to open a portal, we're going to open a window, we're going to go to another dimension, D-Wave quantum computers. How do you come up with that type of technology first time and it works? Because they're getting it from fallen angels, as crazy as that sounds. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Richie from Boston. We're going to see how we rank here on the five, the five wing nut values here. Uh, lethality, uh, come on. You really think uh, he's going to go postal? Not really. How else is he going to try and sell you on, on some of that emergency food? I don't think so. True believer? Now, that's a hard one. That's a hard And I'm not going to keep doing that because my voice is going to get destroyed. True believer is kind of a hard one. Uh, I think that he plays it up a bit because especially now that he gets sponsorship stuff. I'm going to go maybe two and a half Fallwells. Wackadoo? He says some pretty wacky stuff. I'm going to go three. He's not the hardest core of wing nuts in that way uh incoherency we'll go about to david wilcox i however richie scores pretty high in cult of personality richie's got a very big following and people listen to what he says so he gets about a three and a half uh alex jones i think that's pretty fair so let's see uh how does uh richie from boston how does he match up against all the rest of these um, I have to rank him high just because the dude is very accomplished. Um, and, and he, he does have a very large following. However, he does seem kind of, kind of rote at this point. You know, like when you think Wingnut, like you think Richie, 
a lot of times. I'm gonna give him a B. <laughs> Brother Sage, one of our favorite uh, pee pee drinkers. Um, lethality, zero. Nah, 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 nah. True believer, I'm gonna say Brother Sage really, really does believe. He's getting all the way up to four fall wells. I don't know much more about him other than like his hippie beliefs of peace and love and, and energy healing and his enthusiasm for pee. That's all I really know. Uh, but he seems to truly be genuine about it. Wackadoo, I mean, the guy washes his eyeballs with piss. It's up there. Incoherency, he is a pretty good speaker. He's a pretty good speaker. I'll give him that. And cult of personality, nah, he gets he gets a zero. I he does not have a very big reach. It's very very local community minded stuff. And brother Sage, honestly, he really doesn't even produce that much content either. I'm gonna go ahead and put him at about a D. I would rank him lower, uh, except that that what he has produced and the laughs that we've gotten out of it are substantial. So that that keeps him out of the gutter. But uh, he's still in the toilet. Now, another challenge is that a lot of our doctors are educated in Western medicine. And through their education, they have actually been, you know, because it's all science and all this stuff. They've actually moved away from natural path um, remedies. So noted doctor of women's studies, Mumbi Saraki. Um, Mumbi is, is a personal favorite of mine, also known as the African Alex Jones. Now, as far as lethality goes in Mumbi, um, I don't want to say that she ranks very high. I think that she does have some really curious beliefs. Uh, some of the, the, the dangerous stuff with anti-vax. I'm going to go one and a half Jim Jones. I don't want to rank it that much higher because I don't think that she is intentional in this, but her ignorance could possibly get people killed. It is true. True believer. I'm going to give her about one and a half fall wells. Much like any other media personality, I think most of it is hammed up. I really do. But I do think she rakes at least three, maybe three and a half Ikes for her wackadoo beliefs because they're pretty crazy. They're super conspiratorial. Very Illuminati. Uh, incoherency. She's a very good public speaker. However, half of what she says is pretty insane. But her cult of personality is growing and exponentially so. She has grown so fast, and she's starting to get uh, legitimate mainstream uh, media appeal in Africa. So because of that, she ranks four Alex Joneses. All right, so Dr. Mumbi is a pretty good wingnut. Pretty good. Is she top tier? No, not really. However, she does pose a, a rather potent force in the world of wingnuts. I'm going to rank her a B. That might be a little controversial. Some people might think she's an A, maybe, but I, I think Mumbi at least deserves a B. I really do. Okay, I got a fart. Okay, ooh, I just pooped. Oh, man. Of course, had to save Jillian for last. Jillian Eberly, AKA the reason I got on TV, um, probably the reason why my channel grew as big as it did and as fast as it did. Um, I'll always be forever thankful for uh, for Jillian being in my life. Uh, and so I want to I want to rank her appropriately and be as objective as I possibly can. Lethality. Well, allegedly. And I would say that she would rank pretty high in this. But honestly, Jillian has been kind of beaten down into the dirt at this point. Her reach is not very far. So I don't think she ranks that high in lethality anymore. But she did. I'm going to give her two Jim Jones. Now, I know some people might want me to give it to her higher than that, but at least until maybe she gets another big following, I don't think so. Not really. Not yet. True believer. Jillian doesn't know what she believes. She doesn't know what she believes, but I think she believes it with all of her heart. Wackadoo is a tough one. Jillian is completely wackadoo. But the thing is, the reason why she's so crazy is because she doesn't actually know what she's talking about. She just kind of hears something and then applies it. Uh, because of that, I, I don't want to give her five, but I'll give her four Ikes. I'll give her four Ikes because her, her 
beliefs are so bizarre and they change so rapidly. Uh, incoherency, she's pretty damn incoherent, but she's not the most incoherent ever. She'll get three De David Wilcox eye. As far as cult of personality goes, back when she had 60,000 uh, followers on Facebook, I'd say maybe she was like three, four, almost. Now? Now? We'll go one and a half, Alex Jones. One and a half. I'm pretty confident, pretty comfortable with uh, with this being a good representation of who Jillian is now. Now here is the big moment, the big, big moment, what everybody's been waiting for. Where exactly am I going to put my main homegirl, Jillian Epperly? Miss Jilly Juice herself, where am I going to rank her? She's an A. She's an A. She's an A for me. For me. Uh, if I was to try and be objective about this and, and throw away the history between me, me and Jillian, I, she might be a B. She puts out a lot of content, and it is pretty wide and varied, and it's interesting. Like, I'll just sit back and watch Jillian videos just because, because they're incoherent. They don't make any sense. But she does mean more to me, so she's an A. Now, I know what you're thinking, Jeff. How in the world... Could you possibly not put Jillian in the S tier? Well, for that, I have an explanation. You see, the five values of wing nuttery, lethality, true believer, wackadoo, incoherency, are, are represented by distinct people. Jim Jones, leader of a cult, mass suicides, true believer, Jerry Falwell, who <laughs> believed in himself, that's quite a bit, to build a massive, massive empire that was influential and that could shake elections, all under the power of Jesus. Wackadoo, David Icke inventing the reptilian agenda. Need we say more? Incoherency, David Wilcox. The guy has never found a conspiracy that he can't jam into his massive fucking head. And cult of personality, Alex Jones, is the very definition of that. These are S-tier wackadoos. These are S-tier wingnuts, titans of the industry. These are the, the actual master class. Now, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. These people, they are notable. And they, they're, they're worthy of mention and taking the time to rank and sit back and appreciate how uh, god-awful they can be or how amazing they can be. And so there you go. The true titans of wing nuttery are those that are so powerful they become a ranking themselves. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Take the project file that I made in Photoshop. I'll put it on a Google Drive and I'll link it in the description down below. And that way you can make your own ranking and tell me all about it. Tell me in, in which ways I got it wrong and you got it right. We can discuss. We can debate. It's going to be great. So that's going to be it for me today, guys. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this power level. Uh, again, if you would like to see the making of this video, you can click down below. Uh, there's a link to the completely unedited stream that we did making this as well. If you enjoy that kind of thing, uh, check out my Twitch. I, I go on there pretty often and people hang out with me while I make videos. Um, but yeah, other than that, I think it's a pretty comprehensive uh, a comprehensive list of, of wing nuts. I don't think I missed anybody. Um, so from my family to yours, I hope you are well. I hope your family's well. Take care. We'll see you next time. Shit.